I made a video reacting to the Tribex teaser at NAB where Small Rig and Potato Jet showed off their design for a very quick, uh, extremely feature packed tripod. And thanks to one of the commenters, Eli, he suggested that I react to their actual launch now that we have the official price for the Tribex tripod set. So thank you, Eli. I figured we'd go through the main features first, give my thoughts on the price tag, which is officially $799 for the set, the tripods, the head, the bag, and everything that comes along with it. Then I'll also do my reaction on the actual release video so we can see the tripod in action more. So in general, the main features of the Tribex tripod is, of course, first, the extremely fast balancing of your tripod. There is a hydraulic system that assists in the deployment and the locking of the legs using the clutch system. Also show off the quality of the tripod itself. In the website, you'll see that they've tested the tilt and pan functions more than 10,000 times and the extension and locking of the legs more than 20,000 times. So you can be assured that this tripod will last you a very, very long time. The shining feature is, of course, the X-clutch design. This handle that controls the deployment of the legs, but also it can be locked off so it can be a handle. If you just want something to grab when you're carrying it around or moving it around, it can also be stowed a lot easier so you can pack your tripod more compactly. And I think this is something that we didn't see a lot in the NAB teaser is that uh, the ball head itself has a lot of features and it has a, a counterbalance system so when it is tilted depending on the size of the payload whether you're a mirrorless camera or a full-fledged cinema camera uh, the counterbalance will keep the tilt of your camera where you leave it without having it to like plop further down or revert back to center. So that's a cool system that we'll see a little bit later too. So this here are the knobs that we didn't really see again in the NAB feature or on the initial teasers that we've seen. Uh, there is this knob that kind of like lock the level of your counterbalance system uh, whether it is a smaller camera or a bigger camera and also there's another knob that fine tunes the dampening of the ball head so again it can be more responsive less responsive or locked of course you can take out the center column so in this way you can have the camera as low to the ground as possible you can also invert the center column so that you can kind of have the actual head even flat to the ground when needed this graphic just shows how feature pack the head is and you can clearly see that this is a video centric plate which is the standard manfrotto plate but there's also a lock here that can change the the locking of the plate to accept dji rs plates as well because at this point most professional videographers will also have a gimbal and the prevailing gimbal that we have right now or the most popular gimbal right now is DJI. So if you're shooting with a gimbal and then you want to switch to this particular tripod as well, that can be much more smooth because the DJI RS plate can be accepted by this head as well. And this is something that I've been really liking in terms of the newer tripods where there are multiple quarter 20 slots so that you can attach friction arms like this of course small rig has their own friction arm so it's not just like the quarter 20 holes but there are anti-slip locks as well so you can further expand on the accessories that you can attach to your kit and if your camera is small then attach the accessory to the tripod itself finally just Additional features, again, you see here the multiple ergonomic knob that adjusts all the movement of your tripod and your head. Uh, you can also see that there are tools integrated with the tripod. There is an Allen key and also a flat head screw. Uh, there's also a place where you can stow uh, excess screws that you might have. You might be using other plates and other mounts and you are attaching and detaching accessories to your cage, your your tripod, your camera. Uh, there are slots where you can put those as well for your safekeeping. We haven't really seen this too much in action, but as you can see, the feet of your tripod uh, starts off as flat and rubberized for more of flat surfaces, but there is also an integrated metal spike there as well. Other tripod 
tripods or like tripods that I have, you have to unscrew the rubber feet of the tripod and then screw on the spike feet whenever you need it super stable in the ground. But this way it seems that the spike uh, feet of this particular tripod is integrated in the feet as well. And another thing to note is the storage bag that it comes with is a backpack style. I actually prefer that particularly with longer things. Uh, most of the time when we have uh, tripod bags or light bags that are this long, it's just a sling. So that's somewhat annoying to carry. So I do like that in this particular example, they say it's a backpack style bag. So overall, extremely feature packed. And as for where whether I will be getting this tripod, the $799 price tag is a little bit more expensive than what I had hoped. In my initial video, I was hoping that it was just going to be $599, maybe even $499. The, the, the very, very hopeful person in me was hoping that it is uh, that affordable. But at this price, I personally cannot justify upgrading from the current multiple tripods that I have. They work fine. Um, they're not as fast and as cool and as feature packed as this. As much as I would want this, I personally will need a couple of more months, a few more gigs to be able to justify getting yet another tripod, particularly because I am still not that level of a pro videographer. However, if you don't have a heavy duty tripod yet, I urge you to get this because I think at $799, it is still a steal. I was researching tripods. The three most popular alternatives within this kind of range will be, of course, the, the Satchler Flotex 75 with the ball headset. It's $2,300, more than double this price. Just the tripod legs without the head is already $1,300, so twice as much as this. Like, so of course, the, the Flotex is much more pro, but the Tribex can approximate pretty much everything that the Flotex could do. Uh, with the added benefit of the X clutch system so that you can deploy the legs faster, level your tripod faster, get shooting faster. There's also the YC Onion Pinetta, heavy duty, professional grade, carbon fiber tripod leg set. That's 700 bucks. So another, you know, $1,500 more, you'll have the additional features that the Tribex has. Now, even the Manfrotto MVH 502A, that's also 700 bucks. So just adding a little bit more, you're getting an exponential amount of features for your tripod with the latest technology and good quality. I think it is fairly priced. So those are my initial thoughts uh, with the Tribex tripod release. So let's go through the release video, react to it as well, see it in action, and we'll, we'll close out the video with final thoughts. Here we go. So what would my dream tripod look like? Well, first of all, it's gotta be faster than my bike, faster than my drone. I want it to be the world's fastest tripod to set up ever. Fluid head is a must for smooth cinematic shots, but no two shoots are ever the same. So we need ultimate versatility. And of course, it's gotta be adventure ready. Those are the main KPIs. Fast setup, dynamic fluid head, very, very durable and very versatile. So it seems like pretty much everything that they've we've discussed as features, you know, was we, we've seen in the first 17 seconds of the video in action. So yeah, I'm, I'm already very, very excited with this one. Let's get to work. Speed starts with the clutch. Squeeze the lever and let uh -huh. gravity take the wheel. Release the clutch and it locks in faster than you could say potato. So this one is, you know, it's good that we actually kind of see it. The clutch system is not going to snap back instantaneously. There's a little bit of like a dampened release so that there is a bit more time for you to kind of like secure and set your shots once the legs deployed so that's good to see that's something to note that when you press the clutch you release the legs you adjust it a little bit and then when you let go of the clutch as you can see here he's still like holding on to the camera with his other hand waiting for for the clutch system to revert back or lock the legs so that's cool and after setting up the legs, you still have to level out the head with a bowl, right? But if the clutch is smooth and precise, why don't we just use that to level out the head? That would mean we'd be able to drop the legs, level out the head, and be ready to shoot while everyone else is still on that first leg. So that's another 
pretty cool thing to note is like, yes, you can still level out the head, but you can also level it using uh, the legs with a clutch system extremely like exponentially fast than like traditional tripod legs for sure but as you can see here he did deploy it extremely quick but the camera isn't level yet so it's not like every time you press it and it drops it's already level there's there's still be going to be a little bit of adjust when you do that so there's a little bit of like marketing here there's a little bit of like a, a trickery to kind of like exaggerate the quickness of this but it's not going to be like two seconds and you're ready to rock you deploy it you still adjust it a little bit. You still have to like look through your viewfinder, check whether your leveling meter is right as well. But regardless of that, it's still extremely quick. It doesn't matter if you're on a hill or rocks or stairs. You could even do it while holding. You can do it one-handed. Still good. It's not sturdy. I need to know that this Tribex isn't gonna collapse if I go a little over the weight limit. Yeah, we kind of see it's like anywhere between like 12 to 16 pounds. So pausing there we kind of like glossed over kind of the payload capacity of you know 12 to 16 pounds so you know if it can carry a, a full grown man it can carry most of our gear you know we are talking a lot about the clutch system the deployment the setup extremely fast but the head of a tripod is one of the most important things when you're going to have it and then this particular head has a lot has all of those features that a professional would be needing Low and smooth some days i need to be quick and responsive and some days i just need to lock it off we can't really call it a pro video head without a counterbalance so the camera stays where you leave it stage one for mirrorless two for compact cinema cameras and three for rigged out setups most of my tripods do not have this counterbalance system and that's what makes this pro so wherever you leave the nose or the angle of your head it'll stay there just by adjusting which level it is again he mentioned it one for mirrorless two for like um you know dslrs or like medium-sized cameras and then three for your full kitted out rigs but a counterbalanced fluid head usually means big and heavy cameras have gotten a lot smaller over the years so i want to so it is a big tripod right but you know as as we can see uh in this particular example, it's still way bigger than most of the camera backpacks that we have. So this won't be the most outdoorsy, everyday carry kind of kit. So it is big, right? It is not a compact tripod, which will be great for more professional gigs. But if this is going to be your one and only tripod for everything this won't be the most comfortable tripod to bring particularly in venture and outdoors or if you're just gonna daily carry a tripod so if you want something that is going to live in your camera backpack you might want to look for something a little bit more compact so more of like the photo centric rather than the video centric tripods Cameras have gotten a lot smaller over the years, so I want still to light models, though because of the carbon fiber. Out of cases through airports and hotels, so I want this to fit in a regular suitcase. Definitely carbon fiber. So that is a cool visual that we have. So it does fit in a regular suitcase. If you take out the head, this is not a carry-on sized luggage. So this is more of a check-in luggage, which you know, still cool. I mean, there are a lot more tripods where it ha will have its dedicated case whenever you need to travel only carbon fiber so it's lightweight but a hook to weigh us down when we need that extra stability still of course key, but i still need to have a good max height for those times i need to get up and over so that's cool too that's that's something that i was um you know i didn't really i'm i'm, it, I'm sure it's in the specs but i wanted to visually see how tall it could be because if i'm getting this and i'm you know i use it mostly for filming events i want to be able to have the tripod extremely high or taller than most audience members so that it can you know see over people's heads particularly when they're in front of me and it seems like a hey, potato jet is like an average sized man maybe five eight that would be sufficient for most of the events that you know a lot of us will be shooting so height is good because we already know that it can go really really low but i must admit my favorite shots are down low lower keep going and as you can see here, this is where the reversible grip work. Now you can point the the pan bar up. Okay, that's pretty good. But right now we're trying to get a shot that's and invert the center column. The clutch lever can lock straight out for comfort or at an angle to stay in tight with the legs. 
You can also be disengaged so it doubles as a handle. But so that's cool, the disengaging of the clutch system so that you're not like squeezing it all the time or accidentally bumping it and then readjusting your legs. You can disengage it real quick and then it'll, you know, plop close. And again, you can use it as a handle. So it's good to see that in action. The perfect shot never waits around for you, so the clutch needs to always be on call. And of course, a store... And just pulling it will be activating it. Now one downside to smaller cameras is that I'm constantly running out of space to rig accessories. Why don't we just mount straight onto the tripod? Some quarter twenties with slots for yeah. high twist pins. Perfect. So I don't have to worry about my monitor swinging. Quarter twenties and, and I have an example of a, a small rig friction arm right here. So this will fit on uh, some of the quarter twenty slots the tripod will have. Out on the legs that's stationary and also one on each side of the head that'll track with the camera. Yeah. So I Multiple angles, angle, do a BTS. Exactly. So this is kind of like the new wave when uh, filming right now where everybody needs to kind of have multiple angles or, you know, have an angle to document you. And I think this is going to be, you know, a staple in terms of uh, being able to document your setup as well. So this is probably what I might be doing if I get this tripod in the future, whenever I'm doing gigs, I'll probably have a pocket three um, attached on a friction arm or another action camera or exactly like this, a 360 camera so that it can capture BTS of me. As a YouTuber, I like having it hold some notes so I don't ramble. Oh, I, I need to do this a little bit more with my phone so I, want to load that so I can have notes. It feels like there's DJI RS gimbals at almost every show. There you go. So we definitely want compatibility with those RS plates too. Now, Straight it, from before, gimbal so to the head, Allen, could end up you have tools what you need. Out of the way too in the head, so that's good. And then you can replace the head with other ball heads I just can't stand when they come loose during hard left pan so definitely some screws to lock the head into so there's another thing too you can set a b and points in your pan so in cases where you want it spinning 360 cool but if you want like a hard a point a hard b point he's he mentioned additional screws this looks like uh the allen wrench to me but yeah you can put additional screws to to have like a stop so that's pretty cool place would be a must and here it is this is officially off of our very first batch of manufacturing. I think I'm calling this like maybe the first edition or the origin series, but basically orange handle. The orange like handle is the origin the series, the first batch. We don't have that anymore. Um, but what he's talking about is the first batch of people who will be getting the, the tripod you can send in your feedback. This is like the first proof of concept, right? Legs are flopping all over the place. And doesn't always work. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm glad to see the, the different iterations. Completely actually changed how much I like using tripods now. Small batches of this is going to start being available now. And if you get an orange handle, then we want to hear your feedback to tribex at smallrig.com. Based on your feedback, we may make some tweaks to the mass production version, which will have the black handle. We'll start later this year, but I can't tell you how excited I am. I'm, I'm going to stop the video there because again, at the end, it's just like a, a lot of thank yous, but that's cool. Uh, you, if you're one of the early adopters of the tripod, you get this origin series, you, you get uh, a specific uh, a limited batch special edition color of the X clutch system and you can give feedback so that you can have an imprint onto the next batches for further improvement you know as much testing as they've done this is new technology and with new technology we don't know how certain things will deploy or how certain features will last which ones will be sturdy which ones will be not so yeah this so this is my brain dump on small rig and potato jets collaboration i think it is a leap in tripod technology having these many features making it extremely easy to set up encouraging you to bring and use this a lot more so that you can have a more professional setup to your shots i think this is a it's a real game changer again 799 is a, such a fair price just I can't afford it right now, but 
soon i will this is something that i will be looking at and investing in off the top of my head if there would be other features that i think would uh, make this even better i'm assuming they're going to do a version 2 version 3 if this particular tripod is successful my bet will be they're going to have the center column be its own mini tripod so you can take out the center column it's its own mini tripod you can hand hold that part too so that's what my other tripod um, has as a feature but the again the, the key selling factor here is the the clutch system which is such a wonderful system so i'm looking forward to uh, getting this in the future i'm very excited for this that's the video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time